quatro, 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 quatro. Spencer Williams Jr., July 14, 1893 to December 13, 1969, was an American actor, filmmaker, and screenwriter. He was born in Vidalia, Louisiana, and grew up in New Orleans. Williams is best known for his work in early African American cinema. He began his career as an actor in silent films and went on to write, produce, and direct over 20 films in the 1930s and 1940s, many of which he also starred in. His films often portrayed African American life and culture in a positive light, challenging the stereotypes prevalent in mainstream Hollywood movies of the time. One of Williams' most notable works is the 1941 film, The Blood of Jesus, which he wrote, directed, and starred in. The film was praised for its portrayal of African-American spirituality and was one of the first films to feature an all-black cast. Despite the success that The Blood of Jesus enjoyed, Williams's next film was considered an epic failure and seen by few. The attempt to create a wartime drama resulted in the film marching on. 1943, set with World War II as the backdrop, the film was badly made and was left in the shadow of the army-financed film The Negro Soldier, 1944. Most of the narrative scene in Marching On was influenced by William's own time in the army during World War I, due to an uneven and uninteresting plot the film was seen as a dud and was unable to garner the social acknowledgement that Williams had hoped it would receive. Williams's next film, Go Down Death, 1944, is considered to be on par with The Blood of Jesus as the best overall primitive film that Williams made. Just like that movie, Williams directed, wrote the screenplay, and acted in the film. He gained inspiration for the story of the screenplay from the fable of the same name, written by the poet James Weldon Johnson. In addition to his work in film, Williams was also a successful songwriter and musician. He wrote the song, I Got What It Takes, which was recorded by Louis Armstrong and other popular musicians of the time. Prior to his involvement with Amos and Andy, Williams was immensely popular among the African-American audiences. U.S. radio comedians Freeman Gosden and Charles Correll, who cast Williams as Andy, were able to claim that they were the ones who found Williams and gave him the chance to be seen in the limelight because he was virtually unknown amongst the white audience. In 1948, Gosden and Correll were planning to take their long-running comedy program Amos and Andy to television. They had previously played the roles in blackface makeup for the 1930 film Check and Double Check, but the television version used an African-American cast. Until Amos and Andy, Williams had never worked in television. Amos and Andy was the first U.S. television program with an all-black cast, running for 78 episodes on CBS from 1951 to 1953. However, the program created considerable controversy, with the NAACP going to federal court to achieve an injunction to halt its premiere. Williams returned to work in stage productions. In 1958, he had a role in the Los Angeles production of Simply Heavenly, the play had a successful New York run. His last credited role was as a hospital orderly in the 1962 Italian horror production Lorable Segreto del Daughter Hitchcock. After his failed attempts to find success in the film industry once again, Williams decided to fully retire and began to live off of his pension that he was receiving from his time with the U.S. military. Williams died of a kidney ailment on December 13, 1969, at the Sawtell Veterans Administration Hospital in Los Angeles, California. He faced discrimination and racism in the industry. Despite these challenges, he made significant contributions to early African American cinema and helped pave the way for future generations of black filmmakers and actors. <laughs>